Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Grixis Amass here in Standard. So we have a donation deck day today, so we've had a lot of people donate to see their decks on stream. And so the next one we're going to be playing today here is this Amass list. So we are going to be trying to amass the biggest zombie horde that we can with the help of Dread Horde Invasion. Gleaming Overseer, Widespread Brutality, Enter the God Eternals. Those are the cards you see a lot of the times for these, especially Enter the God Eternals. Widespread Brutality is awesome. Both those cards are awesome. Dreadhorde Invasion can help us gain some lifelink. You see some people playing some Gleaming Overseers also. A couple of cards we have in here that you don't see as much is we have Invade the City, which amasses X, where X is the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. And we have Lazotep Plating which can amass one and give us and permanents we control hexproof until end of turn. So this is basically like a dive down <clears throat> that costs two, but it does put a 1-1 one, one into play. And it is it is a mass for us as well, so we can counter things like Thought Erasure, uh, you know, anything that goes upstairs. Uh, a sh you know, a Chandra that ultimates and tries to deal damage to us, we're like, nope, we got this Lazotep plating, you know, any anything like that. Um, so that's, so that's something that's a little different. We're trying out over like something traditional, like a negate or anything like that. We'll see <clears throat> if this like a mass one can maybe surprise people also, like just being, we can even use this as like a pump spell, like growing our, our amassed army, you know, plus one, plus one, um, like, you know, at instant speed, uh, also like maybe our amass token was going to, was going to be a five, five and like how, how like our opponent was playing, like they didn't think that we we're going to have lifelink th the next turn. And then, you know, we make it a six, six and we get gained the lifelink from dread horde invasion. I don't know. There, there's just like some utility here that we'll, uh, be able to, to try out. So that's, that's an interesting one, but then invade the city. So I'm playing this over com commence the end game. Uh, I was, I was considering playing a commence the end game the six mana draw two and then a mass X where X is the number of cards in your hand. But you know, it does cost six mana, it's a lot. I feel like this could be pretty nice as some like invade the city could be something like where we get to double spell on like turn five, you know, we can play like any of these two mana cards plus then invade the city to, to help us like double spell and help pull ahead and everything like that. And so like and again, I think this 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 could be something like kind of nice early, a little bit earlier, even if it's like a mass two or a mass three, to try to turn on our dread horde invasion, where like commence the end game is just so much mana that you know it's it's hard to do that kind of thing. So I basically want to help use this to help turn on dread horde invasion's lifelink. And so then, of course, we want to play a good amount of instants and sorceries with this. It's, it, but it's not like something. I'm not like building the whole deck around it. You know, it's, we don't have like there's just one copy, so. Even if it's like kind of bad at times, um, that's okay. It's just one copy of it. But we do want a, a good amount of instants and sorceries, which we do, which we have. And a card that works really well with instants and sorceries, of course, is God Eternal Kefnet. So we got a couple of those also. Uh, I think Kefnet works awesome with Brutality and Enter the God Eternals. <clears throat> well, Brutality, as long as, you know, the Brutality is not killing your Kefnet, but, um, you know, it lets you cast these things. Uh, and still keep them in your hand to be able to recast them again later. But yeah, so this is this is what we're uh, going to try here. We got war bosses on the sideboard. We got another sweeper for brutality and another cry of the name. We got both of those for aggro. Uh, Enter the God Eternal is another copy of that card because that card's just awesome in certain matchups. Some Narsets. Um, yeah. Let's go with Grixis Amass. I kind of feel like I kind of feel like commence the end game is just kind of too expensive at six mana. I I feel like if you want a six mana card, that it's just better to be playing Ugins and Lilianas and everything. Why does War Boss see mod? Oh, I should have switched to Nicol Bolas instead of a Johnny. I forgot to switch my my picture here. Yeah, going with Discovery instead of Opt. I, I like Opt a whole lot because Opt is a good card to be able to put 
help you fill your graveyard. Um, but I'm going with Discovery for, for like the couple couple reasons. One, it can it can like just dig us really far in the late game. It's a great card to, to have in the late game because it you know you get to see three cards potentially. Um, but I think that Discovery works really really well with Kefnet because <clears throat> you can have like the dispersal side or the discovery side, and even just like the dispersal side. I really like dispersal as a card in general, so I, I'll go with discoveries. I know it doesn't it doesn't matter if your opponents have removal in their deck whether whether no, Legion War Boss is good or not. That's that's not That's not what makes Legion War Boss good. What what makes Legion War Boss good is that it it is just so good against this card, which is one of the most played cards in the format. Like, where they play this card, they minus, you get a haste creature that gets to attack right away. Just matches up so well against this card. Um, I guess we wait a turn to widespread, widespread br brutality. <clears throat> Kefnet to the dredge deck. Don't worry. I could see I Kefnet this. being a sideboard card in that deck. Um, I, d I don't think it, that's a main deck card in that deck. It doesn't do like the game one plan. Um, but if you want to have like be able to attack on a different axes after sideboarding, that's it's reasonable. Yeah, gotta love widespread brutality. That card is really nice. What a card! This is hard. Just get, getting rid of, like that. Just traded for with Teferi, <laughs> Teferi, History, Benalia, and Resplendent Angel. Just traded with all of them. What's the best deck to climb in a best of one constructed? All right. So to be fair, I don't I don't play very much best of one constructed. But as far as I know from just like a theoretical standpoint mono red and esper control those two decks in particular really feel like the the best things to be doing in that format Unfortunately, widespread brutality would kill our gleaming overseer. So I could do that, or I could just bedevil. But it may be better to say bedevil for a planeswalker. I guess I'm just going to bedevil. We'll answer the God Eternals while it doesn't do anything right now. It'll be good against like whatever Soren brings back. Because we're going to have to Brutality away Lyra Dawnbringer. So basically, the reason why I took Teferi in instead of Soren is because I felt like I'm going to be killing my, my token here. My Overseer, so like this wasn't going to be proof anymore so they could play like Teferi and tuck the 6-6. Six, six. But now like whatever they whatever they grab they grab anything with Soren, we just kill it. You know, Resplendent Angel, Shalai, we can kill either one.
Oh yeah, if you if you do this second main, if you widespread brutality second main, then your then your army would have lifelink. That is a, that is pretty sweet. Invade the city. Amass six more. Oh, is the lifelink only in combat? It doesn't just... Yeah, it gains lifelink until end of turn. Right, yeah. So you'd, you'd have to attack first, and then second main cast widespread brutality. Well, this card's incredible. <laughs> Let's get another one of those. Um... So contempt. Play elder spell. I think I want to take out plating here. They didn't have like a ton of interaction, and they probably will have more interaction after sideboarding. But still, I guess this is kind of kind of rough against Lil Teferi. I don't know. Maybe I keep one in. Um, I'll trim one end of the God Eternals with us putting in other other removal spells, and I'll trim one Lava Coil as well. Uh, Funky asks, "What's with the flower overlay?" I don't, I don't know what you, I don't. What's the what's a flower overlay? I don't know what that is. Hopefully we draw black mana here. If not, we're going to Discovery. Oh, if you look at the screen while sideboarding, there are transparent flowers over the deck builder. Gotcha. Okay, I missed that. Okay. That's a good idea, one. Hmm. Do I just take both the Mortifies? Maybe take both the Shalais? I wish Angrass Rampage would be able to take out Shalai, but it can't. Oh, I don't have two black mana. That's going to make that a little awkward. Oh, well, I'm going to just start by taking the Teferi. I mean, it's the best card in the hand. I'm just going to take the best card. Oh, I don't really care about that, so... All right, one shall lie down.
So we're just sitting here with a good amount of removal. Kind of so is the opponent. We're both going to be just kind of staring at each other here for a little bit. I'll show the straight. I've got it. <laughs> no, I'm just not I'm not playing this card because it just would get mortified immediately. That's why I wasn't playing it. You can see like maybe I don't I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm saving it for, but I'm saving it for something. There just wasn't really a point in playing it. Show remorse. I'll show you. You know what? I'm not done yet. Dang. That's really bad. Well, that didn't pan out. You can draw some more spells. What's up, Branch Waka? Hey, Zephyrs. Keep up the pace. Ooh. They let us untap and actually do the Dreadhorde invasion thing. It's lucky. Oh, wait. I see what they're going to do. Dang it. I need a widespread brutality. Right. They're just going to... Hmm. Well, I messed this up. I guess if I widespread brutality, they just counter it, but then they counter it, then, then the 3-3 three, three gets to go in. Okay, so they mortify the overseer. No, wow, they just let the fairy die. Okay. Because they really wanted to hold up disdainful stroke, they're really concerned about what I could have in hand. No, I, I think that's I think our opponent just wanted to to make sure they could hold up disdainful stroke. Hey, what's up, Dr. Grindel? Late. 
opponent's definitely drawn better than we have. What happens when you have Teferi's in your deck, though? Alright, so just play, make, playing that as a 2-2. Two -two. Maybe they drew a couple lands. Might be a bad idea. Nope. Yeah, it's fine. All right, looking for Angrass Rampage. Ugh, it gets disdainful stroked. Angrass Rampage, but Devil. Nope. No. All right. Resplendent Angel takes over. Yeah. GG. All right, so they're playing a bunch of counter spells. Get these Narsets in here. Oh, war bosses. Rather have duress than Narset. It's fair. Duress definitely seemed like it'd be very good. Of course, not very good against July. What are the six cards I'm taking out? Okay, let's try again. Yes, Dr. Grendel, I will be. Not the best hand. Not the best hand at all. Got... Both of our Enter the God Eternals immediately. But we have good mana. Mulliganing's kind of lame. Hands getting better. Yeah, Super Friends in a deck name means a bunch of different Planeswalkers. That's what that means. Double History Soren. Kind of want to just take the Soren. Yeah.
Could you just like, you know, not draw the land immediately? That would've been nice. Especially just not just like, hit that white source right away. So I could see them playing either one, Resplendent Angel or History Banalia. I would probably play Resplendent Angel if I was in their spot. Good job, Budacris. Just got to Mythic. Way to go. Congrats. Yeah, you're using the new the Grixis Control deck that, that I've been playing recently. Glad, yeah. That's awesome. Way to go. Got to Mythic with it. Good job. That clown's really... It's definitely drawn pretty well. Bad. Okay. Good. Shocking in, is that for Shalai, or what's that other card in hand? All right, it is. So, of course, we're milling ourselves. We can't mill them. Shalai in play. But now this 6-6 six, six should be able to block that 2-2 two, two just fine. We took out our second widespread brutality, so I think there's one more in the deck. Jeez. That's annoying. Let's see if we can set up Kefnet. Uh, we cannot set up Kefnet, so. I don't think I even want Dreadhorde Invasion right now. Being at 8 and no other amass stuff. You would have attacked and just taken 4 on the way back? Attack for 6? Like you wanted to trade six, 6 points of their life for 4 points of ours? I feel like we needed to. I would have attacked like the next turn, like after... Uh, you know, like when it's going back to a 2-2, but with like the history trigger happening there, I think that was a... We did not have lifelink. You only get lifelink if you have the enchantment in play, which we, of course, do not have. Let me remind you to fear. It doesn't just have lifelink all the time. You have to have the enchantment. Wow, that's a good one. Yes, please. That's why I love Discovery Dispersal with Kefnet. Because just having three mana Dispersal is really nice.
All right, that turn worked out. Bleh. I'll just put the Kefnet back in my deck and just clear out their their battlefield completely so we don't have to worry about like them ha having like a removal spell for my Kefnet and then like attacking us for a bunch just getting rid of their battlefield and they bricked so we get Bolas and there we go the immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end Kefnet is sweet The widespread brutality was awesome. Opponent got brutalized. We have our adversary of tyrants. <clears throat> Even though we're playing the Nickel Bolas deck. Mountain, huh? Graveyard, graveyard. Good job, Discovery. Even though it didn't, you know, it didn't get us anything good, it got rid of two cards we certainly don't want whatsoever. So that's what that's what Discovery should do. Got re getting rid of those two lands, but now we're just finding more lands. Come on, deck. <laughs> That's a Kefnet with two scoops. <laughs> oh, do we need Immortal s the Mortal Kombat theme for on the final boss playlist? That's a good call. If you have some time, you gotta try to find the mortal, the best Mortal Kombat theme you can on Spotify and link it here and I'll, I'll put it in later. I guess risk factor, I really shouldn't be milling them because of risk factor, but we did just hit four spells. So that's not bad. No, opponent... Opponent uh, did not punt there. We did not gain four life because of that shock. So they, they turned the, the deal two into, you know, really deal four. Because we didn't get to gain four life. The Grixis control deck that we played yesterday, <clears throat> Meth Velen, and three days ago. Yeah, we played it yesterday and three days ago. It's up on Stream Deck, or it's from like three days ago. All right, Moment Craving. Cry the Carnarium, Contempt, Enter the God Eternals, Widespread Brutality, all of these. Um, so Dreadhorde Invasion is risky, but that lifelink can certainly help us win. What do y'all think of Dreadhorde Invasion? No or yes? 
We're trying to do all the other amass stuff. Because it will either be really bad and we don't want to play it, or it will, or it will win games. A lot of people are saying like cut two. I kind of like it, but I, I like the cut two. That's reasonable. I'll get rid of platings. I don't know if I really should be getting rid of platings here. Yeah, it's, it's after, we basically want to play it after we enter the God Eternals and Widespread Brutality. We don't want to just play it on turn two and take a bunch of damage. I don't know if this is better than, than the Lazotep plating. It's certainly possible it's not. And no, I'm not shocking to cast a rest. I'm not gonna like pay two life and then trade one spell to like take a three damage burn spell kind of thing. Tibalt. Tibalt. Is here to help you. Hoping to draw something to be able to play this turn where I could like duress plus something else. But I guess I'm just gonna gleaming overseer then and then duress invade next turn. The control deck. I mean this yeah, this is a mass deck, this is a donation deck that just started trying out, My but no, I, I prefer the Grixis control sloppy. deck. Hmm, interesting. Two Chandras. Interesting. Hmm. I want to just take lightning strike. No, I'm gonna take the other Tybalt. So yeah, that thing's a sorcery. I'm gonna make a I'd like to make a bigger invade the city. To draw spells that are not lands.
Should still be able to gain life here, that thing leaving. I guess I cracked first. Jeez, come on. Hmm. Basically, I don't want to deal with, like, you know, like, this amass token is, like, how I'm going to be winning this game. I don't want to deal with, like, another Tabal coming down and making two more of these little things. Gosh, I really just need, like, another spell. Need more spells. Oh my gosh, deck. We've drawn one contempt this whole this whole game. Yuck. Discovery would be perfect. Discovery would like you know help set us up and everything, get a spell in the graveyard, yeah, plus you could maybe put other things in the graveyard. Yeah, like a discovery, finding like an Angrass Rampage, or a Bedevil. It's not bad. I wouldn't mind... I guess a, a Dreadhorde... Yeah, a Dreadhorde Invasion would be just fine too. That would give us like the Let's lifelink, but then they would... Yeah, because they can't just block with Firebrand. All right, well, too late. Yeah, we're yeah, we're dead. Unless this Chandra ultimate for some reason just like completely misses everything. <clears throat> Cuz we're at 6. If they would have just cast that lightning strike. Yeah, actually, no, we were just just actual dead. Yeah, because just lightning strike. Oh, Phoenix. You burning. So three Chandras, a Daredevil. This is awesome against Chandra ult. All right, I'm doing it. I'm going with these Dreadhorde Invasions. Here on the play. I mean, we have all these all these things that try to amass a whole lot. And yeah, I don't I don't really want thought erasures. They can just empty their hand quickly. <clears throat> 
drawing thought erasures in late games are not not a good draw. All right, let's draw lands. Good first draw. This will make the light of the stage worse. And it's not like Angras Rampage. <clears throat> Angras Rampage couldn't um couldn't make them sack like a steamkin, for example. Need another blue source. One more blue source. For Enter the God Eternals here. We have kind of rough mana. Of like, you know, double, double red for brutality, double black for contempt, double blue for God Eternals. Oh, I love slim ties, yeah. Definitely a slim, slim tie. In the slim tie club over the over thicker ties. Just go to eleven. It's fine. Or I guess I should have just done this first. Right, I should have just done this first. Then I would have got gained lifelink and everything too. Oh well, I'll just take it. Like we're we're doing great. I'll just take it. But yeah, I, I should have just done this first gain life link. Hit that. It's my turn. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. All right, well I'll do that now. was a disaster. No, they can't. Chandra doesn't go to them. It's opponent or planeswalker. Chandra can't deal damage to like they can't just target themselves with Chandra. Well, I know the top card is not a land, right? No, it could be a land. I'm gonna target me. I've been drawing a lot of lands here. I feel like there's some more lands in there. Those are like a lot of good cards. So, um, I think it was we were gonna draw Sulphur Falls, then Discovery, then Dreadhorde, then Capnet. I think that's the order, but I haven't really figured out the exact order they go in. Game's not over. Frenzy can can do a whole lot of stuff. Game's not over. War boss is a great card for them to see. We need to draw widespread brutality to end the game. I don't like that steamkin attack unless they unless they're playing another creature. Okay, yes, yeah, so they they knew they had a creature on top. Then I like that steam can attack because they they would need to trump with something that's not war boss because they want war boss to keep making like these other tokens. You want to go, tough guy? All right, come on, widespread brutality. We got four of them in here.
guess I just keep the lava coil. It's not spectacular, but... So, if they... If they do ever end up blowing... Like, obviously they can't play any of those spells in their hand. If they do ever end up blowing fr blowing up Frenzy, which I guess they just did right there, they're probably... They probably want to be able to cast this Firebrand, because Firebrand's awesome against... In my scenario here of, like, block and then... Oh, please don't have something that can kill this. And Grass Rampage. Oh, but they don't have a, they don't have another land right now. This Chandra better not hit a land. Oh, Steamkin. Dang it. dead. Blech. Maybe should I just ditch this lava coil? There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Maybe I just shouldn't have Lazotep plating. I think that was like the the thing I could have done. I didn't need a Lazotep plating when I did. You know, it just saved us like five life or whatever. We really didn't need to save that five life. It wasn't it wasn't really that vital with how we had a big creature with invasion. I should have just kept the Lazotep plating to help protect my big creature. That was a mistake. I, there's no reason to. Enjoy play that plating and live like a king. This is just gonna be bad for you. I gotta draw widespread brutality. Have to. Oh, they're so cute. Brutality still my out. Brutality's not not my out anymore. No outs. Ugh. We started off strong. But after our Enter the God Eternals on turn six, or turn, or I guess I was like, basically we contempted on turn four, and then we didn't really do anything besides the one Enter the God Eternals until it was too late, and Experimental Frenzy still just a messed up card. Yeah, the, the, plating, the plating was the decision... Just not casting the plating would have been like one decision I could have could have done differently that would have helped. I I don't even with that honestly for how like the the next few turns play out I don't think we still win but it would have been better for us but I I don't think we were winning that. All right, just gonna take the the card that can be more than a one for one. Or like, I mean, obviously the 
the auger of bolos i guess could be more than one for one i mean it's not going to trade for anything it'll just jump block but it can get another card my cards aren't really that good Net is very good though. Kefnet is an awesome card to see. Yeah, that's another thing I could have done. I could have, um, I could have attacked them instead of Chandra. I mean, obviously we don't know they have the second Chandra, but then even the second Chandra, I was just attacking them the whole time. And just ignore Chandra. Yeah, that's an option. Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support, Wadey. That is nice. It only costs three mana there with the Kefnet. And then we get to Coil. All right, fourth sub of the day. Hmm. I don't know if I actually want these duresses. I feel like this kind of matchup is going to be a lot of like, I, I discard their thing, they discard my thing, and it's going to be like a top deck war kind of thing. Top decking discard spells is not really where you want to be. Um, so let's see. You can tell I'm definitely trying to be proactive. I guess I probably only want like two of those though. And I don't know, they could have like their own war boss. They may you know, I don't know if they're going war boss, going thief. You know, which one of those that they're they're playing. Enter the God Eternals is just nice. Phaser, thanks for that support as well. Enjoy all those awesome emotes. I'm gonna get rid of plating. I don't really like having to like if if there's a bunch of discard, not only not only will our opponent you know, know about plating and can play around it kind of thing. But then also, it's like something I have to like keep mana up. And if, if like a whole bunch of cards trade and then like we're both like in top deck mode and we just top deck this plating and then our opponent top decks a threat. And it's like, what is this plating doing? So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. That is true, that Invade the City is not as powerful right now with Warboss and Narset. That's a good point. 
The other thing, though, that does make Invade the City a little bit more powerful is that these, this could be a game that goes long. And, like, if this is, like, a, a real long game, then having Invade the City as, like, a, a top deck could be pretty powerful. But it's not, this is not a card that you want in your opening hand like this. We had one card that you definitely want in the opener hand, one card you definitely do not want in the opening hand, and all lands. Good news is my my hand is really good against Thought Erasure. Because we don't have anything good. So we just got to basically blink that Thought Erasure of theirs. Basically. Yeah, I think I want Lava Coil in this matchup. It kills, like, if they have, if they have, like, Nicol Bolas, it kills that. If they have Thief of Sanity, if they have Legion War Boss, they probably have a lot of things to coil. Kefnet's just the best, though, because Kefnet's, like, the best threat in this, in this, uh, matchup, because it keeps coming back. You don't ever get rid of it for good. Oh, whoops. Right. Whoops. <laughs> Ugin. Be about moats in a vast so they're putting Kefnet under here. Ether itself serves me. Well, I could have that last turn. The focus and hone your prowess. Ugh. Could have had this last turn. I, I don't like Ashiok against these Command the Dreadhorde decks. I don't think it's good enough. I don't want to give him Kefnet. I want to activate Narset though too. Just wait a moment. Truth. <clears throat> I don't, I don't really know what happened there with me just clicking through. Oh. Really? Didn't I just get rid of this? I did. Not beating this Ugin ever. Not unless I draw a removal spell for it. Because, you know, I can't ever deal damage to an Ugin with just one big creature. All those dread hordes. If I would have just played the Narset that turn, that other turn, instead of just clicking through my turn, you know, would have minus, would have found the Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure away the Ugin, I can create and we'd we'll be doing pretty good. Them minusing here is pretty great for me. That was awesome for me. Like. That should really be a plus on their side. Like they, they need to be taking up Ugin and just making another blocker. Wow. We got rid of Bolus, Bolus, Liliana, and Contempt. And now we can kill Ugin because they didn't make another blocker. I had no business being in there. If they just tick up Ugin forever, I can't possibly win. And they just didn't tick up Ugin forever. And then we got rid of like all, all so many good planeswalkers. Wow, that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, you don't get double life link. Double life link. Not a thing, unfortunately.
Tamio's Epiphany is perfect with Kefnet. Great synergy. Two mana, scry four, draw two. Plus, then you have another one. That's that's just that's just awesome. All four at the bottom. No removal spells. Three bottom. Oh, they don't get to draw. Narset. Narset coming through clutch. So they went three bottom, one top. So are they going to Are they gonna take their turn attacking Narset, then casting? No, that's it, they're dead. They concede. He had no business winning that. If they just tick up Ugin, we can't possibly win. I mean, if they kept a card on top, if it was a removal spell, they still had a ton of mana, especially, like, adding in the treasures. So they could still have Kefnet kill Narset, and then, like, if it was a removal spell for the 11-11, and then um, cast the other Tamiyo's Epiphany in their hand, because, you know, they had the copy. But... Oh, maybe they left a Planeswalker on top? Yeah, maybe. All right, we'll try this. See if Dreadhorde Invasion can get us there. Nope. Do not want you. Yeah, they might they may have been a little tilted. Yeah, admittedly they may have been a little tilted from <clears throat> that enter the god eternals top deck. Because obviously it's top decks so have nothing in the hand. And killing their Ugin plus getting rid of two Nickel Boluses and a Liliana and a Contempt. Whoa. Alright, I alright. Of course, expecting mono blue. We need another red source for this brutality. It's not. It's not super likely. It's. It's honestly not very likely that we just have brutality next turn. So instead of taking a lot of damage from that Knight of Grace, I'll just get that out of there. That's a cool card. You. Sacrifice one of your creatures. Most hated card in the current current format and in the history of MTG. Uh, my my most hated card in the current format is Wilderness Reclamation. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thrilled with Narset and Teferi from the newest set, these three mana planeswalkers that, that have shut, they have shut down Wilderness Reclamation, but I'm not thrilled with them, so it's like, at what cost? History of Magic. Um, I've never liked Valakut. Um, never liked any Storm cards. I don't really like. I'm not just a. I'm just not a very big fan of like combo decks that don't 
interact with the opponent at all and just try to kill you really, really quickly, and and then that's it. The game's over. It's those kind of... And it's like, do you have your sideboard card that stops them or not? It's just kind of magic's just not very interesting to me. <clears throat> combo decks that like take a long time and maybe have like some defensive elements you know like they're playing you know like combo decks that are like playing sweepers and everything and then have like a, a combo finish isn't you know that's I'm known for that doesn't feel as bad type. but like things like modern Let's like the the decks that are just trying to like turn two turn three kill and modern never liked those those kind of decks all the cosmos are mine to control. All right, so I went, <clears throat> I went with Teferi's tick up instead of Nicol Bolas's, so that we could have. Bedevil available at end step, but we we just drew a land so we can just Angrass Rampage this to Fairy. That's why I went with Teferi's instead of Nicol Bolas's. Because I was going to Teferi tick up and then end step, untap two lands, Bedevil it. So they got to pay one. Time planes walk. My schemes are never ending. Mm -hmm. Just bought a box of War of the Spark. Gonna crack it now. All right, good luck, numbers. I mean, I guess they could have, like, Settle or something. I guess maybe I should have thought Razor first. But, yeah, Trickster is a card we had seen. Does that make sense? Uh, I, tried it. I tried a good game, yeah. There you go. Good game. All right, so they're playing like blue-white cards. Uh, a lot of small creatures. Let's get this other cry of the Carnarium and widespread brutality. You know, Met so they're playing a mentor of the meek deck. So I want those sweepers. Um, not really playing things that target us too much. Let's get rid of the platings. I think that's all I'm gonna do. That looks pretty good. Oh, I forgot to look for that for that flower. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that flower that's above the deck box. Somebody else was asking about that. I don't know. I 
<laughs> Last time he drafted, it took you six weeks to play through the whole tournament. Wow. All right, what do we got? Game two. Hmm. I think I'll keep this because of this card. We're on the draw. We get three looks at a land before our second turn. So that's look number one. And then as long as we get any land discovery that's look number two so we're 0 for 2 hopefully not 0 for 3 hmm. so it's it, so the flower is probably just some design you know like they probably just want to have a flower I guess on that deck building screen I don't think it really means anything or uh, you know I, I don't think it's anything that's like a, a real symbol for anything. I think they just want to have a flower. That would be my guess. Thought Raider is a fine card, but it's... It's whatever. When he lands... Like, if I keep that Thought Erasure on top also, and then next turn I draw Thought, Thought Erasure, and then the next turn after that it's another spell, then I'm not going to have four mana, and I'm going to be sad. So I want to give my chance to, give myself a chance to have the four mana. Plus, like, the Storm Tamer on, right here just counters the Thought Erasure anyway. Alright, so they're, they're wanting to counter stuff. Love it. Alright, we snuck through Kefnet. That's so good. I don't know why... I don't really know why Kefnet costs 4 mana. You know, and also has flying. Like, where all the other gods cost 5. Like, why is... How is Kefnet worse... Wor like, a worse card that it only costs 4? Kind of thing. Like, it seems plenty powerful enough. Com comparatively to the others. Like, why are the other... if? You know, like I, I don't know where the the disconnect is there. Like how is how is Bantu a five mana card and this is a four mana card or Oketra being a five mana card makes sense for sure. But then even like the others I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess because, yeah, they always make the blue cards awesome. There's a huge difference between four and five mana. I don't think Kefnet's weaker on stats alone enough to be... Like, I don't think, you know, four or five compared to five, six or whatever. Like, that's worth a whole man entire mana. <laughs> Blue's identity is just OP. That's... You know, like, green is, like, the stompy color. Red is, like, the burn color. Blue is just the OP color. <laughs> Bantu is pretty cool. I'll agree with that. No, my Dread Horde invasion. We can't invade anymore. Knight of Grace. Would I rather go Angrass Rampage plus Invade the City, or do I just want to slam the Nicol Bolas Dragon God? Should probably do these two. Stop revealing the cards. You you don't get to reveal cards very often whenever you draw them. So the only time you get to is like with Kefnet. So you might as well just take advantage of that. Like just something you just don't get to do very often in life. So why you know, why not why not just do something different, like reveal cards. It's fun. Just something you don't get to do very often. All right, let's see. Now we'll... Yeah, I'm gonna play this. Maybe we'll draw a land and get to invasion also. Should be a reveal hand reveal hand button. Yeah, it's nice to it's nice to do something different. Whenever you play magic all the time, each and every day, you get to actually reveal cards. Let your weak mind That's fun. Crumble. No, I'm not doing it to display dominance. I just do it all the time. It's more fun to reveal cards than to not reveal cards. Not revealing cards is like just what you do, like basically every draw step every single game. That's lame. It's like kind of a that's an odd auto tap. I realized that, you know, last turn the auto tap kept like just one white up and, and tapped both the blue, and now this one taps both blue. Keeps the white up. So it's certainly a white card in our opponent's hand. We know that. This is the auto tab. Ah, it's a seal away. So, like, for the emotes, there needs to be one that says, are you seriously playing Red Deck Wins? 
in the regular play queue. That'd be a good one. I'm I kind of wish there was like a sorry, like for like my opponent getting mana screwed, and I can say sorry. But I know some people will just like kill your thing. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, some people will be like that, but. Yeah, thank you. Thank you would be good. Ugh. Yeah, there's always going to be people that use emotes bad mannerly wise. If I want to use them, I want it to be genuine with those comments. All right, Dreadhorde Invasion on the play. Honestly, no, I have never ultimated Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Uh, I guess against red, we'll play this one first. So they have Shock and a bunch of cards I'm not beating. Take the shock. <laughs> just make them just only cast one spell a turn. I kind of want to take War Boss. Is that like making another creature right away? That'll be annoying. I'm going to take War Boss. get chain world real bad so I'm basically just like telling my opponent how to set up their hands so they're just gonna lead with spellbreaker next turn and hit me and then I get a 1-1 one, one, and then they chain whirler the next turn so I'm just letting everything work out well for them The real question is whether or not I want to Lazotep plating to keep my creature around after the like before the chain whirler. I should have just taken chain whirler. <clears throat> well, they didn't play a land, so they a whole bunch of spells over there, which is not a great sign for me.
I don't want to just die to a haste creature. I don't want to, to not attack. You know, if I attack here, they, like, shock me, put me down to seven, play a Spellbreaker, and then the Dreadhorde invasions kill me. But if they have Lightning Strike to go along with Shock. Nabo with that sub. Thank you so much, Santa Jelly, for gifting out that sub in the channel. That's our sixth sub of the day, four away from our sub goal. If you're enjoying the stream, would also like to help support me as being a full-time streamer here, consider hitting that sub button and get access to all 22 of those sweet emotes. All right, we got the lifelink there. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not double lifelink. They didn't quite have the burn to finish, finish me out. So surprising our opponent didn't really have anything that they were playing there, considering... Considering they weren't hitting land drops, and they just didn't play anything those two turns. Hey, what's up, Kurtash? And Millennium God joining in on this hype. Thank you so much, Millennium God, saying amazing content as always. Keep it up. Well, you're helping out. Thank you very much, Millennium God. That's seven subs on the day. <clears throat> Let's kick this madness into high gear. Whatever happens next, it's gonna hurt ya. Casting the shock? No. Let's put them down to two. Muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. Eelharg. The Raze Boar. I guess I can't really beat a Domri emblem as this is going right now. Maybe I should have killed Domri. I don't know. I like getting them to two. No. What do they got? The devil? Tilt. Ugh. It's the second time that we've had. <laughs> These direfully daredevils kill a huge invasion where the opponent normally wouldn't be able to kill it. Jeez. Flood City. Ten lands. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. Eleven lands. We've seen eleven lands and eighteen cards.
I don't know how we're going to do these extra two points of damage. I guess I need to kill Domri. Honestly, I don't think we can. I guess widespread brutality. That's what we can do. No, you, life link doesn't stack. <laughs> this gets shocked. Then the next one gets lightning striked. Um, I'm dead. I needed to take the lightning strike, but even then, I'm, I'm dead. Ugh, second time, we had the red deck down to like them almost being dead and us having, you know, like thirty plus life and like a ten power, plus life linker. And Daredevil killed my creature, and they had a bunch of stuff, and we just had all these lands. And we lost. Second time. So another Contempt, another Brutality, another Enter the God Eternals. Need some kind of evasion? Yeah, like that's what that's what these are supposed to help us out with. Um Dragon God in this this matchup, maybe. Maybe we want to take out Dragon God? But this thing also gives a menace, if we'd have that card. No, I don't want Duress. Need to answer all their creatures and everything and keep answering the battlefield. That's that's my plan. The thought erasures are good enough. I don't. We don't need more discard than that. We have. I just brought in another contempt, and we have rampages, bedevils, and contempt now for the planeswalkers. So I don't think we need the elder spell. Also, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> Not impressed with Dreadhorde invasion. Well, I mean, it did a lot of work for us. We just we had like literally zero cards to help it out. We had nothing to help it out. It did good work though. Jono Manzo with that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for that support there. Thank you. So number eight on the day. Draw a couple lands. Try to get to brutality. Nope. What happened to the twelve lands? And 19 cards we had last game. Can we have that again? We'll just get some lands here. Hooray. Okay, let's see what they got going on. Over here. Alright, Phoenix definitely the best card in their hand. How much combined power of creatures do you need to kill an Oketra? I mean, I guess it depends on the toughness. I mean, you know, you need six power, but it depends on the toughness because the double strike. Your creature needs to be able to survive. Oh, 
Um. <clears throat> Needs to be able to survive the the first the first strike damage that Oketra can deal. We'll trade the damage here with with me going to be able to, with, since I'm going to be able to gain life next turn. If they have like a disenchant, that could be really bad. Narinen! Thanks for all the bits, Narinen. Where's my cheers emote? Thank you very much. So thanks for hanging out with me while I'm at work. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Narinen. Yeah, I guess I would mean a, a naturalize. Got cinder vines. But yeah, the gleaming overseer giving our token at hexproof and menace. So this should be game. Yeah, Brutality should be able to finish them off next turn. I don't think they can just do... Seven points of burn to us with like one mana. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? I guess it would have been six points of burn. Jeremiah at work. Watching MTG at work is elite. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, that was kind of a cool effect with the concede with the brutality, with the widespread brutality resolving there. <laughs> yeah, widespread brutality gained us enough life to stay alive there. And you know, gave the made the creature that killed our opponent. Thanks, Othian. Well, on the draw, two cards to see a land. I mean, I, I love I love Coil and Brutality. I guess we need to have double red, though. But these, you know, play Discovery on turn two, Discovery on turn three. No. No, because at that point, Brutality isn't even necessarily... 
killing their creatures. They just have like the three threes and everything. So no, I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> yeah, that was totally a mole. Totally a mole. All right, let's get all these thought ragers out of our hand. Try to slow them down. Maybe they only have one three drop to take. That's a lot of three drops. Do I have to take cinder vines? I don't want to. It's either war boss or cinder vines. Like chain whirler, we can answer eventually with the contempt. But like this will like go crazy out of control. I'm gonna take the war boss. Cool, Gilgate. The next turn, I thought Erasure away Ilharg and play Dreadhorde Invasion. Really? Reclamation Sage? Lame. We're just going to kill the Growth Chamber Guardian so they don't get to adapt that and get another one out. Yes, we don't kill Chain Whirler, but that's okay. Getting rid of that Growth Chamber Guardian in this spot seems pretty important. We gotta save contempt for Ilharg. Day's going really good, Eddie. Yeah, stream's going good, too. We got four donation decks today. Played it. They've been doing pretty well. You know, four, two, three, one. We've been playing a lot of long games. And everything. Been a good stream day. I know I could have got the lifelink going, but I, I think just keeping Hexproof up is the way to go. Speaking of the way to go, that's our opponent, Dian. And we are now four and one, getting to another final boss. We lost the final boss last time. Let's see if Grixis Amass can defeat our final boss. Yeah, they did get, yeah, our opponent was 
kind of lucky, unlucky there with the Gilgates. For sure, that hurt them. Love it. Everybody's getting that final boss emote in the chat. All right, discovery to find land drops, and then curve out. Overseer, Brutality, Enter the God Eternals. We do have a pretty good hand against Mono Red. I wouldn't mind facing Mono Red here. All right, I'm definitely keeping the fourth land, but I think this land I'll just go ahead and ditch for right now. I think we'll probably draw another land in the next, you know, however many draw steps. I don't think we need to keep that fifth land. You know, we have three draw steps before our fifth mana. I think it's likely we'll draw a land by then. And this is also not a, a second red source. As you can tell, we don't have the two red sources, so it's another reason not to keep that one. <laughs> we amassed the final boss even. Sure. Oh, come on, red mana. Ugh. Not red mana. Yeah, Jelly Tug just got back in time for Grixis Mass at the final boss. <laughs> Project, you must have been you must have gone away for a little while. Cause yeah, we've been playing some longer games here. The Arcanist. Alright, come on, red mana. It was it was up next. All right, we'll take that up next. I'm going to try to kill everything next turn. Let's, you know, Thought Razor, make sure they can't do anything crazy. But this game should be over next turn. Yes, Boar has Trample. And obviously the gleaming the gleaming overseer is just gonna die the next turn anyway. So it dying right here doesn't affect me at all. Can you finale a promise for one? No, you can't. So they can they can wizard's lightning though. That's just going upstairs. Good thing my creature's a four four. And we're still good. Goose claws, GG's. <laughs> yeah, I had three thought erasures there. Sorry about that. That was 
How's that kind of game? They just thought erasure away everything and and just try to kill like the one thing that was left. Um, let's see. So they're okay. So they're playing a bunch of little creatures and a bunch of spells. Trying to haste their things all the time. I don't know what I want to do in this matchup. I don't feel like it's Dreadhorde Invasion. What if I don't play Dreadhorde Invasion? What are those X3s? Yeah, they bunch of 1-3s. most annoying thing with Moment of Craving is 1-3s. Same with this. Our deck's been doing pretty good. This is Grixis that we're playing. Yeah, our, our deck's been, been playing well. Let's take out two Dreadhorde Invasion, two Nicol Bolas. What? Oh, uh, that's 59? Alright, we'll get a bolus back. Yeah, Widespread Brutality and Enter the God Eternals. Both of those two cards are just incredible. They're like really the reasons to play the deck, especially Widespread Brutality. Wow, that card is great. Yeah, I'm not expecting much out of Invade the City, but I think Invade the City really helps Dreadhorde Invasion. But, you know, I just have one, so I'm not... I'm not expecting too much of it. I'm not like... There's times where it's not good. Um, I'm not really relying on it, though. But there there are definitely times... Like, with it only being three mana, it's pretty easy to double spell on, like, turn five with any of the million two mana cards plus invade the city and, like, get this thing to, like, be six power and attack. Okay, so they have Lightning, Lightning, Sprint, Spell Pierce. Yeah, the Brutality Obliterate. Yeah, yeah, that card is awesome. That card's really strong. No, I like I said, I've been I've been satisfied with this Invade the City. it does pair well with this and you know like right now it's a three mana three three a lot of times later you know three mana four four three mana five five it's not it's not a bad card it's just not it's it's not good like really early in the game before you know before you have other things so it's not something you want to like fill your deck with a bunch of them that's a fast way to get kefnet back now, that thing is a wizard. Wow. Just concede? Didn't they just have, like, Kefnet coming back the next turn? I don't know. But it's victory fanfare time. Sometimes the final boss, you know, sometimes you, you prepare so hard your for the final boss and you're like really ready to go and then it turns out like you didn't need to level up nearly as much as you did. <laughs> yeah, you're just way over leveled. The deck played pretty well though. Um, I would say the card I was Maybe disappointed in the most was the the Lazotep plating. 
but there was times like after you were already like really ahead with the Dreadhorde invasion, then it was pretty good, but it wasn't spectacular. Invade the city was was fine. It wasn't it wasn't uh, amazing. We didn't get we didn't like draw it late game ever. Uh, that's that's where you'd really have it do do well. But you know it's just a one of, and I didn't I didn't dislike it at all. Brutality is just incredible. This card is just awesome. It's honestly could probably just be a four of in the main deck. Um, honestly, maybe this should just be four in the main. Maybe taking out like one one of the platings for a fourth one there, and then you can have some other card against whatever in the sideboard uh, kind of thing. You get an extra slot for whatever whatever you want uh, to, you know, like whatever you want to try to help your matchup better against. Because even against, like, control decks, it's still just, like, a mass two, you know, which is awesome. Like, maybe just get, like, an extra Elder Spell against control or something. Or another Nickel Bolas Dragon God. If you play like a matchup where you really want Nickel Bolas Dragon God, because that card's great. Spinter with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, thank you so much, Spinter. <clears throat> no, I don't think. I think you can play this deck if you don't have Dragon Gods. I, I think you can play this deck without this card. You don't you don't necessarily need it. You could play like the four mana Nicol Bolas instead. You could just play you know another Enter the God Eternals. You play, uh, Elish Reborn, Liliana Ugin. You know another Kefnet. Uh, maybe another Inve You know you if you like especially if you're playing this at like F and M and this card's expensive and you want to play it without this card, you can do it. You can play it without Nicol Bolas Dragon God. You know maybe get this other Enter the God Eternals. Uh, in the main deck, and maybe a third Kefnet, or uh, get a second Invade the City, or, you know, like, kind of, like, whatever, kind of things like that. Um, Lazatap Plating was, it was okay. It wasn't spectacular, but it was, it was fine. I didn't hate it, but I don't know if you need two of them. I think it's kind of like Invade the City, like, it's nice to have them at times, but it's not something that you want, like, you know, multiples in your hand kind of thing. But they're, I think they're they're just fine, basically. Um, and so we can have, like, one of each of them in there. <clears throat> All right, so that's it for Grixis Amass. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, please hit that like button over there. Same with the subscribe button would be nice as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.